Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rolando. Good evening, Juan Alfonso. How are you today? Good, good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi. Hi, great. Okay. Good you, on. teacher? <laughs> good. Good, yes. Right. <laughs> Here is a little uh, cool because after oh. a little rain we have, right? So it's a little cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and in your house, Rolando, is everything is okay? Mucho viento. Uh, it's windy, windy. Windy, okay. Yes. Windy, yes. Uh, rico, rico, rico. I imagine. Bueno, soy así. Coffee and semita. <laughs> en marquesote. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Alonso. Hello, Mai. Hello, Eric. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Thank okay. you. Good evening. Good evening, Alonso. It's a pleasure to listen to you. Okay, listen, we're going to practice uh, one specific exercise. We are having problem, right? Is that the two point, the two point eleven, right? Two point eleven. Okay. Um, listen to the audio, please. Listen. Two point eleven, right? Porque lo pidieron. Regresa. <laughs> Two point eleven. Right? Okay. Listen. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the <laughs> afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home. F okay, so it's 9 a.m., right? 9 a.m. But uh, some students copy with capital letter, right? Like this, 9 a.m. Look. So the problem here is that you have to copy with lowercase. El problema que no le dio algunos es que tenía que ser con minúscula, right? Apuntemos ahí, please. Check. Number two. 2.11, 9 a.m., but with capi, eh, lowercase letter, right? Con minúscula. <laughs> 2 point 11, 2 point 11, number 2, right? Estamos? Okay, continue with the listening. Fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. Sorry, uh, por aquí había una más de Rodney. Vamos a ponerlo otra vez. Dos do más. Dos más hay, teacher. Do That's más hay great. Okay, good. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you... I'm usually on bed... One in the morning, right? Listen, one in the morning. So the only thing you're going to copy is one. But some of you copy in the morning. It's okay. It's okay. But the platform, pero la plataforma, no lo acepta así, right? No lo ve así la plataforma. So we're going to copy. Pay attention. Only one. Okay. Good. This is about Ronnie. Now let's go about Tina, right? A uh, teacher. Yes, tell me, Rolando. Number three. Yes. Number three. Ah, uh, okay. Eh, ese no me lo han reportado. Parece ser que está bien. Ah. Okay. Yo pensé que todo lo, todo no, lo iba no, a hacer. No, ah. no, no, no. Eh, okay. Say, right? A petition. Right? Tengo una petición especial de un alumno. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ¿Verdad? 
eh, por cuestiones estrictamente personales, no voy a revelar el nombre, ¿ok? <risa> no, no, okay. no, we're going to make it general, right? Vamos a hacerlo general. So, I repeat, uh, 2.11 del 2.11, que es uno de los que más nos ha costado, los más difíciles, right? Eh, Rodney, right? Teníamos inconvenientes en la número 2. Pero el error que me reportaron, repito, eso es lo que yo creo, vamos a ver qué así es, que escribieron el 9 con mayúscula y tiene que ser con minúscula, right? Con minúscula. ¿Ok? Y Rodney, el number 4, me habían puesto in the morning y no va in the morning, solo va one. ¿Ok? Y tengo reportado el número 6 también de Tina. ¿A qué hora se levanta? Vamos a escuchar. Listen, please. ¿Qué do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. Ok, listen. That's okay, though. 7 a.m., right? With, eh... Uh, las... With S. 7. 7 a.m. 7 a.m., right? Se levanta a las 7, esta chica. 7 a.m. A.M., right? That's number six. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Seven. Seven, right? Permitan, give me a second. Vamos a hacer una cosita aquí que me están saliendo todas las respuestas. Sorry. Nos salimos de aquí y regresamos. Ok. Habíamos <laughs> dicho que las dos. Nine. Sí, es que ahí estaban todas las respuestas, ¿verdad? Nine A.M. Habíamos dicho que era con minúscula, ¿verdad? Y la 4, he goes to bed at 1. ¿Ok? Y aquí estamos con... 7 uh, horas. Ok, vamos a escuchar nuevamente para que quede claro. Ahí. Sorry. Disculpe que me esté tomando tiempo en esto, pero quiero que a todos nos quede claro. Vamos a ver aquí. Vamos a regresar. Ok. Very good. Now, listen, please. Fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine to five office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get... At 7 a.m., right? 7 a.m. So let's go to number six. She get up at 7. Oh, 7 a.m. Ok. Now look. Estas son las que me han reportado, right? Now we go to submit. Ajá, están correctas, ¿verdad? Yes. Y sí salen bien, ¿verdad? Esta no es mayúscula, sino que es minúscula. Aquí es one. Sí, no le van a poner in the morning. No le pongan in the morning. Y aquí seven, right? Seven. That's it, right? Good. Eh, anybody else? Alguien más que tenga problemas con este ejercicio? Nobody. Okay, good. Let's continue, right? Uh, ¿Hay algún ejercicio en, el, en el, las secciones 1, 2 y 3 que ustedes tengan problemas? Este es el momento, ¿verdad? It's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. You can report that, right? Con el examen también, si tienen problemitas, pues díganme ahorita, que todavía podemos regresar, no hay problema. Lo importante es que ustedes se queden sin dudas. ¿Ok? ¿No? Good. No, teacher, no. Si no se atreven a decirme ahorita, pueden hacerlo en el grupo. Y si no lo pueden hacer en el grupo, pues ni modo a mi personal, ¿verdad? Y mándenme las dudas que tengan, que para eso estoy, para ayudarles, ¿ok? Good. Now we see a lot of people today. Veo que casi todos estamos ahora. Congratulations. Nice. I like that. I like that. Congratulations, right? Now we're going to go to the conversation. Conversation. Let's review, right? 
we're going to practice the last time and we're going to read the commentaries, the special commentaries you made, right? Now, let's go watch the video again, right? Music very much. On the discussion box. Lesson participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box. Okay, so we're going to repeat this for some students didn't, that didn't practice, right? Algunos estudiantes que no lo habían practicado. Let me see. Claudia Xiomara, please. Hello, welcome, Claudia Xiomara. Hi. Hi. Okay, you tell me if you practiced. Eh, dígame, Claudia, si lo practicó. Si, si no, por favor. No, 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 Okay, good, excellent. And Josué Rosales. Josué? Hello, Josué. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, you didn't practice this, right? Uh, no lo puse a practicar esta conversación ayer, ¿verdad, Josué? Josué? Yes, yes you practiced. Ah, okay, good, sorry. Okay, so Abel. Hello, Abel. Abel, welcome. Hello, teacher. Eh, ¿Practicó usted esta conversación ayer, Abel? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh. Vamos a ver, sigamos. Eric, Eric Castellanos. Hello, Eric. Yes or no, Eric. No, ok. Víctor, hello, Víctor. Hi, Víctor. One, two, three. One, two, three. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Victor. ¿Me practicó usted la conversación ayer, Victor? No, teacher. No, no, no. Okay, thank you. You're going to help me with, with Claudia Xiomara, please. Uh, you're okay. Going to, you're going to be Tom and Claudia Xiomara is going to be Liz, right? Ready? Okay. Okay. One, okay. two, three. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like like it very much do you yeah i do i'm a big fan of him of feminine i think i know him does he play the piano the piano no he doesn't he's a singer oh i guess i don't know much about rap so what kind of music do you like I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine and Dion. I I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Thank you. Good participation, right? And we have the singer, right? Celine Dion, right? She's from Canada. It's a good singer. Very good voice, right? Okay. I know you. some of you prefer Kim Flick, but, but Celine Dion is also good, so I recommend her music, right? Okay. Uh, I know, for example, Rolando, who likes Jose Lora. It's okay. It's okay, the music of Jose Lora. Right? <laughs> but I repeat, Celine Dion is, is a good singer, too, right? Good. Uh, who, anybody who didn't practice? So ya me quedaron algunos que no me practicaron. Perdón por la mala memoria. Okay, who? Who? Yo. Yo <laughs> también no participé. Okay, please tell me your names, <laughs> que no los veo por aquí. Lorena. Lorena. Oh. Mayra. Excellent. May and Lorena, right? Okay, Lorena, you are Tom, and May, you are Liz, right? Ready? 
Okay. okay. Great. We're going to check the pronunciation. Okay. One, two, three. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okie dokie. Very good. Por ahí, el, no sé quién de ustedes está escuchando ahí eh, música grupera. Está bien. It's okay. <laughs> no problem. I understand that you don't like Celine Dion. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> okay, listen. The pronunciation of this. Like it like it i don't like it this is a link sound right this is a sound unido like it like it i don't like it right i don't and like it i don't like it good and this is i'm i'm with m right i'm i'm and also here when he says celine de Jong, i love her voice do you like her i mean it's correct to say do you like her it's correct but when you speak you link the sounds, unimos los sonidos, aquí en lugar de decir like her, decimos like her. O algunos lo hacen mucho más rápido, like her, like her. Do you like her? Do you like him? Do you like it? Okay? That's very common and, and you know, they speak like this very fast, right? Good. Now we're going to listen to the commentaries. Today we have a lot of time, right? and not too, too much material. So we're going to listen all the commentaries. Ladies and gentlemen, Carolina de Angulo say, I like pop music. My favorite Spanish singer is Miguel Bosé. Oh, okay. And an English singer is Adam Levine. Mm, I don't know, but I suppose he's a good singer, right, Carol? But Miguel Bosé, come on, he's a good singer. Nice. I like his music, right? Okay, nice. And like and dislike. Let me see who's this. Roxana, no, no. Roxana said it's not from our group, right? Roxana no es de nuestro grupo. Let me see. Vamos a maximizar esto. Okay. Edwin Cruz, no, right? Noemi Cuellar, yes. Do you like salsa, Maria? Oh, nice. Hasta que te conocí, di la vida con dos. salsa, nice. Okay, but we're not talking about the ones in pupusa. We're talking about the one in, in music, right? Salsa is nice. Now, uh, Vicky, no, right? Rosa, okay. I really like rap music. Oh, come on, excuse me. Rap music, Rosa, nice. Excellent, especially from the 80s and the 90s, right? Good music, right? Uh, I, I like to see a program in, in, in Netflix. The name of the program with Will Smith is uh, El, El, El Rap de Bel Air, right? With Will, Will Smith. El Príncipe del Rap. Príncipe del Rap, <laughs> you see. Excuse me, very fast. You say, okay, el principe del rap, yes. Principe del rap, right? Good. Now, Eminem is a singer, okay. Rolando Campos, no, I don't know, no sé quién es este estudiante. Nunca comenta él, primera vez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like the music of the 70s. For example, BGs, very good. Only with capital letter, Rolando. Okay. Yes. Ahí se nos fue el dedito, ¿verdad? Capital letter, mayúscula. BG's, right? Ese grupo británico que muchas. Buenísimo. Good music, good music, right? Frankie Valley. Donna Summer. Very good. Etcétera. Etcétera. <laughs> Jose Lora. No. Marito, Marito, Marito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Nice, nice, Rolando. Thank you. Uh, let me see quién es este estudiante. Eh, 
Carol, Carolina Rivera, Caro. No, right, Carol Rivera. No es usted, ¿verdad, Caro? No. Ok, I'm sorry. No, teacher. No, 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 ok, sorry. En Josué Campo, Josué, hoy no tenemos a Josué. ¿Qué pasó? No, no se ha conectado. Let me see. Josué, are you there? No, qué raro que no se ha conectado Josué. Ok, solo Josué Castellano está por ahí, ¿verdad? Que tenemos dos Josué. Ok, good. Now, Josué Campos says, I like the reggae music. I wanna love you. Every day and every day. Every night. <laughs> We live together. ¿Verdad? Pero un, un cafecito, sin fumar aquellos cositas raras ahí que aparecen. No, es un cafecito, ¿verdad? Reggae music. But I like the alternative rock. In English too, right? Okay. When you say English as a subject, cuando lo mencionamos como un tema, como un, una materia, English, right? Is capital letter, right? Se escribe con mayúscula también. My favorite singer is Jim Morrison of the Doors. Come on, good music, right? Como eso de la una de la madrugada, escuchar esta canción de Jim Morrison, right? <laughs> Excellent. Música bien elevada, Josué. Nice. Okay, now, good commentaries. Now, let's continue. Uh, then we were practicing yesterday uh, the yes, no question and, and questions, W question would do, right? Let's review this. Please. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to full present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you, too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him, her, it, us, them. Did you notice? Okay. So we have here uh, the difference between yes, no question, right? And information question or WH question, right? We do in simple present, right? Do you like rap? And Rosa say, Yes, I do, of course. I, I like rap too, Rosa. Yes, it's, it's nice. I, I like it a lot. Or maybe for some people, right, say, no, I don't like it very much. And always we have yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, right? It's simple, yes or no. But when you make questions with WH, what, what, who, when, where, etc., etc., right? Who do they like, for example, right? They like you too. Yes. Uh, Miss Sarajevo Sara is a very nice song from you too. Guan. Guan. That's, oh, with or without you is the most popular, right? With or without you. You too is a good band from Ireland. Ireland, right? Good. Now we're going to see the commentaries. Carolina. Thank you, Carolina. You always give commentaries. I am happy to read your commentaries, Caro. Do you like Dua Lipa? Yes, I do. What does she sing? She sings pop music, right? Okay. Uh, sorry, Caro, but I, I don't know Dua Lipa. I suppose it's good. If you like it, I imagine it's good, right? Thank you for your commentary. Now, Noemi. Noemi no se ha conectado ahora, creo, tampoco. Okay. Does she play the guitar? Ah, okay. Yes, I do know. Yes, she does, right? Because we made the question with she. Yes, she does, right? Okay. Uh, let me see. 
Silvia, no, no, no. No sé por qué me aparecen comentarios de otros grupos. I'm sorry. Sorry. Let me see. Oops, I am lost. Ya, ya me perdí, sorry. Aquí estamos. Ok. Give me a second. Sorry. Me salí del... del... Hello, hello. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. Now, eh, Rosa. Okay, Rosa again. Does he like to play soccer? No, he doesn't. Good, excellent. Good comment. And finally, Rolando. Do you like rock and roll? Yes, I do. What does he sing? He sings Spanish songs, right? Spanish songs. That's nice. Rock and roll, you know. The, the King, for example, right? Elvis Presley. Nice rock and roll, right? Okay. Thank you very much for your commentaries. That's very nice, right? And uh, I have a question. Did you have problems with this exercise? 4.4, right? Este, este está un poco difícil. Ayer lo, lo explicamos, pero quiero saber si todos, eh, si alguien ha tenido problemas con este ejercicio, el 4.4. Yes. ¿Ya lo completaron todos? O... Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Ok. Mm, okay. Yes. Espero, espero que sí todo, ¿verdad? Porque sí está un poco difícil. Vamos a ver. Lorena, did you finish this exercise? No. Ok. Ok. Pero si ¿sí lo entiende, Lorena. Lorena. Este micrófono no quiere. Lorena siempre... Se le apaga, ¿verdad? Vamos a regañar ese micrófono que se porta muy mal. <ríe> ok. Eh, Miguel, Ana María, do you have questions about this exercise? Perdón. Yes, teacher. Ah, en el ah, exercise 3. Ajá. En el 3. Exercise 3. En este. I don't like it. O I don't like. Oh, este. I don't like it. Ajá. Ok, no, no estoy diciendo que es la respuesta. <risa> ok. Ah, pero es un, es un object pronoun, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Hola, teacher. Vale. Eh, Lorena está en el otro, ¿verdad, Lorena? Sí, sí. Sí, sí, va. Por lo menos se le oye con eco, Lorena, pero se, Ay, se le escucha. Perdón. No, no hay problema, no se preocupe, que, que lo Gracias. importante es comunicarnos. Yes. Gracias. Ok. Um, Vaya, aquí estamos hablando de fiction movies. Entonces, si estamos hablando de fiction movies, es en plural, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver. Si es singular, es it. Pero si es plural, ¿cuál sería? Esta ya no es pregunta eh, retórica, esta es pregunta de verdad. <ríe> I don't like. I don't like it. O I don't like them. ¿Cuál sería la correcta? Vamos a ver, Ana María. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver si es cierto. No sale bien o no sale mal. ¿Ya? Solo, en, solo en esta les vamos a ayudar. It. Pero, teacher, como arriba dice que es usando do, does, don't, doesn't. Ajá, ok. Listen, no, no está buena con it. No. No, porque estamos hablando de science fiction movies, right? It's plural, right? It's plural. Yes. Vamos a regresar acá, permítanme. Vamos a regresar a esto. Por aquí estamos. Yes. Maurice, both auxiliar. 
Por aquí estamos, ¿ok? Now listen, pay attention, please. Me, you, him, her, it, us, them, right? So when I say, I don't like the movie, so I say, I don't like it. I don't like the movies. I don't like them, right? Understand? Singular is it, plural is them, right? Now let's go back to the other. Okay. Let's go back to the knowledge check. And it says, do, uh, like science fiction movie, right? No, and then we say the answer. And number three, we're talking about the movies. Aún seguimos hablando de las películas en la tres, ¿verdad? Entonces sería it or them. Them. Them, right? Okay. Quiere decir que vamos a usar no solo el do y el does, ni el don't y el doesn't, sino que también aquí dice object pronoun, right? Object pronouns, ok? Good. Por eso decía yo que este ejercicio está difícil, ¿verdad? Y me extraña que no haya preguntas, pero bien. Ya por ahí me dijeron que esa es una de las que les había costado, ¿verdad? ¿Hay otra con la que tengan problemas? Come on, I am your friend, don't be afraid. No, se, no tengan miedo, pregúntenme. <ríe> No lo voy a regañar. Ah, yo tra otra vez, teacher, yo. No, dígame a sus órdenes. La número cinco. La número cinco, número five, right? Ya, Jake. Jake, let me see. Pero sigamos la conversación, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, Jake and Lisa like soap operas. Jake. Ah, ah, what, what's the meaning of soap opera? Soap operas son novelas. Sí, son las soap operas. Le explico Ajá. rápido eh, dónde no viene soap, porque soap es jabón, ¿verdad? Ajá. En la antigüedad, en el antiguo, en Estados Unidos, eh, la gente, como no había electricidad, iba a ver obras de teatro, pequeñitas, obras de teatro al aire libre, ¿sí? Entonces llegó un momento en que estas, eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama?, estas obras de teatro se hicieron muy largas. Entonces, una vez que la gente fue a ver la, 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 la obra de teatro, right? que la hacían en un lugar donde hacían las óperas, ¿sí? al aire abierto. ¿sí? Uh, y entonces, así como un mini anfiteatro, podríamos decir, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, eh, un día fue tan larga la, la obra de teatro que le dijeron a las personas, miren, tienen que regresar el otro sábado, el, el otro fin de semana, ¿verdad? el otro domingo, me imagino. Y la, los que organizaron dijeron, no, nadie va a regresar por un pedacito que faltó de la obra, nadie va a regresar. ¿Y cuál era la sorpresa? Que todo el mundo estaba ahí pendiente, que qué iba a pasar con esa obra de teatro. Así es que lo, los organizadores, ¿verdad? Empezaron a hacer estas obras de teatro de esta forma, las cortaban. Y empezaron a hacerlo así como capítulos, <ríe> ¿ok? Y la gente estaba interesada en ver el siguiente capítulo, qué iba a pasar, ¿verdad? En la obra de teatro. Y estas obras de teatro, las, las, de sponsor, de sponsor, ¿right? El, quien era el que pagaba esto era el, una compañía que hacía jabón, ¿right? Soap, soap, jabón, ¿right? Entonces, ese era el patrocinador de estas obras de teatro. Así es que por eso les pusieron soap operas. Óperas de jabón. ¿verdad? Suena algo bien raro, pero es porque desde ahí empezaron la gente a, a poner por capítulos. Y ahora en día, pues ven ahí en televisión, se ven estas soap operas que van por capítulo, ¿verdad? Ok, now. And then in this case we say Jake, because the question is, ¿Le gusta a Jake and Lisa las soap operas, las novelas? And then, uh, aquí respondemos acerca de Jake, right? Jake dice, ¿a Jake le gusta o no le gusta? Pero dice, but I don't know about Lisa. Yo sé que a Jake le gustan. Muy bien, entonces, ¿qué auxilio? Eh, perdón, no le gustan. Pero no sé acerca de Lisa, right? Entonces, ¿cómo decimos? en forma negativa que a Jake no le gustan las novelas. 
vamos a utilizar el auxiliar das. Right? Más not. Plus not, right? So in contraction. Doesn't. Doesn't, right? Doesn't. Doesn't. Jake doesn't. A Jake no le gustan, pero no sé. Lisa, no sé. I don't know. Right? Va, ahí tenemos las cinco. ¿Qué otra tienen problema? Listen, listen. It says, we're going to use do, does, don't, doesn't, and object pronoun. Right? Eso es lo que vamos a usar. No more questions? Okay. We have time today. Este día tenemos mucho tiempo porque ni PowerPoint presentation tenemos porque el, los temas de hoy están bien sencillos, right? Okay. Now let's go to the exercise 4.6. 4.6, right? If no questions. Intonation in question, right? Okay, now let's practice this. In this lesson, participants would listen. Notice and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay. So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Hello, hello. Now listen, sorry for the... Okay. What are you going to do with this video, right? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con este video? Listen, pay attention. We're going to go to Bocaru, right? I go to Google, San Google, right? And then I copy Bocaru.com, right? Can you see my screen? ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, now, now enter. Bocaru, right? Okay, and here you're going to record your voice, right? Record your voice. Okay. And then. Hello, how are you, everybody? My name is Javier Gomez. It's nice to stay here with you in this group. You're very nice people. Thank you. Okay. Now I have my recording here and I say subir, right? Okay. Subir archivo, right? Ah. Let me see. Sorry, les estoy fallando porque no lo hice así aquel día, sorry. Vamos a ver. Estoy haciendo algo malo, let me see. Hello, hello, one, two, three, hello, hello. Okay. Y aquí le damos subir, yes. Mm, 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 mm. Le voy a quedar debiendo porque no. Eh, la vez pasada lo hice más fácil, no sé qué me pasa ahora. ¿Por qué me está pidiendo este archivo? Sorry. Ah, les quedo mal. Eh, ¿Quién es la que me ayuda? Alicia, ¿verdad? Hello, Alicia. Can you help me? ¿No está Alicia por ahí? Eh, la vez pasada yes. lo hicimos, ¿verdad, Alicia? Eh, no se recuerda cómo lo hicimos. Sí. Eh, teacher, ¿por qué no refresca ahorita la okay. pantalla? Y pues... Ahorita, vamos a ver. Ya le dimos refresh. O quizás me metí en uno, en uno equivocado, déjeme ver, vamos a ver. Bocarú, ¿verdad? Ahí grabamos la vez pasada, ¿se acuerda? Sí. Yes. Es el sitio que recomienda la plataforma también, Bocarú. Okay. Ahora grabo. Ah. Ok. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, hello, everybody, hello. Ok. Uh -huh. Then I stop, right? No, no stop. 
Sí, bueno, sí. No, ah, es que le doy pausa. Sí. Le doy pausa, es el problema. Ok, ya. Yeah. Thank you, Alicia. Usted siempre me saca de, de apuro, right? Guardar, right? Yes. Guardar o compartir. Ajá. And then I say, oh, yes, excellent. Okay. Ahora Entonces el, le damos en, copy. En los dos cuadritos, en los dos cuadritos, teacher. Ah, okay. Aquí. Copy ahí, excellent. Ok, and then I go to the, to the platform, right? Entonces me voy a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Yes, page. Ok. Y le damos al post, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y aquí sería, ¿verdad? Yes. Le damos pegar y ahí está. Ok. Y ahí ya está mi voz. Vamos a ver. Para que se escuche cómo hago, le doy aquí. Sí. Ya, yes, ya. Yes. Eureka. Okay. Dele play. Okay. Hello, one, two, three. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay. Good. Now we, we know, right? Ya Alicia nos demostró cómo hacerlo. So that's what we're going to do, right? Thank you, Alicia. You're welcome. Okay, now. Eh, y ya me perdí otra vez. Sorry, let me see. <risa> uh, eh, no, 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 es que lo que pasa es que cerré la, ah. la plataforma, la cerré. Sorry, vamos a entrar nuevamente. Excuse me. Ok, so what you're going to do is to uh, record uh, and then you're going to paste it, right? Using Bocaru. Like we did tonight, así como lo hicimos. Okay. Let me see. Aquí estamos, ¿verdad? To like eh, disculpe, teacher. ¿Y yes. qué es lo que vamos a grabar en Ahorita. ese bucarú? No he entendido. Pero sí, okay. vio, Claudia, sí vio el proceso, ¿verdad? Sí vio el proceso. Sí, sí lo vi. Sí, excelente. Ahora le, ahora le explico lo que vamos a grabar. Let me see. Ahorita le explico. Ok. Eh, there are two different questions. The first ones are the yes, no question. And the second one are the information question. They have different intonation. The yes, no question. Uh, the yes, no question have rising intonation. Right? And the information question have falling intonation, right? Let me show you. Let me show you. In this lesson, practice pronunciation. Okay, look, look, please. Claudia, can you see here the, the arrow? Puede ver la flechita aquí hacia arriba, Claudia? Yes. Yes, so this means rising up, right? So listen the question. Do you like... Okay. Pop, listen, listen. Do you like pop music? Right? Okay, the other one is, what kind of music do you like? So this is falling, and the yes no question is rising up, up, right? And the other one are falling, right? Now in the exercise, lo que ustedes van a hacer, listen, is we have some examples of yes no question and information question. For example, do you like to watch TV? This is a yes no question, right? So the intonation is rising, right? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? And then we have this. What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play, right? So you're going to read this question, right? Me va a leer las seis preguntas, right? Y me las va a grabar en el Bocarú. Okay? Cuando ya tenga la grabación, ya vio que solo se, que el teacher se trabó, pero, pero usted no me va a trabar, ¿verdad, Claudia? Yo sé que usted lo va a hacer bien. Va a grabarlo y le va a dar pegar aquí en Add Post, ¿verdad? Aquí le damos Add Post y aquí ya vio usted que yo lo, lo agregué, ¿verdad? Ahí le damos pegar, ¿ok? 
solo es de leer las, las, las preguntas. Si quieren, las vamos a practicar para que no les cueste hacer la grabación, ¿ok? Repeat after me, please. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Okay, so that's what you're going to record, right? Eso es lo que ustedes van a grabar. Understand, Claudia? Okay, thank you. Sure. So this is for tomorrow, don't worry, right? For tomorrow, you have time. Pueden practicar bastante veces ahí. Yes. Y tenemos comentarios también este día. Let me see. Uh, discussion. Eh, sorry, vamos a salirnos acá. Y ahora sí. Uh, Carolina, very good. Do you like to watch TV? So those are some questions, right? Do you play musical instrument? So the same question, but in this case, you're going to record, right, Caro? Sí. Esta misma pregunta, pero me la va a grabar. Tengo que grabarlas, ok. Yes, yes. And Rosa, too. También para Rosa, right? And, and Rolando. Yes, me, me hacen la grabación, right? Las seis preguntas y me lo, me lo pegan aquí mismo. Yes. Understand? Ok. Yes, teacher. So, this is the, listen, uh, the yes, no question have difference in structure. In answer, right? And in pronunciation. Eh, estas preguntas tienen diferencia tanto en la, en la respuesta que damos, en el tipo de respuesta que damos, en la estructura y hasta en la entonación hay diferencia, right? Okay. The yes no question and the information question. Yo creo que ya todos sabemos cuál es la diferencia entre estos dos tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? Okay. Good. Now let's go to four point Eight. Listen, right? Who's my date? Aquí vamos a terminar la clase porque esta parte es un poco complicada. Listen, please. Listen to four people on a TV game show. On a TV game show, right? Three men, three romantic boys want to invite Linda oh, on a date. Quieren una cita con Linda, right? What kinds of things do they like? ¿Mm? ¿Qué cosas le gustan a estos chicos? What kinds of things does Linda like? ¿Y qué cosas le gustan a Linda, right? Okay, and then we have the question. Look. What kind of music does Bill like? Classical, jazz, rock, or pop? What kind of movie does Bill like? Bill. Thrillers? Westerns? Horror films? Comedies? And what kind of TV programs does be like? News programs, talk shows, game shows, or talk, talk shows and game show, right? So these are three questions about Bill. Now, the second contestant is, <coughs> sorry, John, right? What kind of music does John like? What kind of movies does John like? And what kind of TV programs does John like, right? Now, Tony. Tony, right? It's the one that sells in the sucaritas de Kelo, right? Tony. So what kind of music does Tony like? Rock, rap, classical, pop, movies, and TV programs, right? Aquí tenemos los tres chicos, los tres Románticos que van a la casa de Linda, right? Now, Linda, ahora Linda. What kind of music does Linda like? What kind of movies does Linda like? And what kind of TV program does Linda like? So we have four people, right? Tenemos cuatro personas. Y tenemos tres cosas. Movies, I mean music, movies, and TV program, right? Okay. Now, let's listen.
Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Again, right? Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today... Welcome to Who's My Date? Today... Hey, Linda is going to meet Bill... Today, Linda is going to be uh, to meet uh, Bill, John, and John Tony. and Tony. Tony. So, let's start with the first question. So, let's start with the first question. On music. On music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Oh, classical music. Classical. Classical. Okay. Okay. And how about you, John? And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Very much. Okay, good, nice. now let's talk about movies. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? Bill, what kind of movies do you like, Bill? I like thrillers. I like thrillers. Like the son of Michael Jackson, right? Thrillers. And how about you, John? And how about you, John? How about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Oh, I like western. Pow, pow. Western, right? Westerns are good. Westerns are good, right? And how about you, Tony? Uh, and how about you, Tony? I love horror films. I love horror films, right? Brr. The mother-in-law, right? Okay, good. And what about you, Linda? And what about you? What about you, Linda? I really like horror films too. I really like horror films too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. Well, I like to watch news 
program, right? CNN, TCS, eh, et cetera, et cetera, right? John? John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. Uh, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how And Tony, how about you? How about you? I like game shows a lot. I like game shows a lot. And Linda? And Linda? What do you like? What do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, you just simple check, right? What kind of music does we like? Click, 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 right? But the question is, uh, in your opinion, who's the best date for Linda? Rolando? Uh, perdón, who's the best date for Linda? Bill, John, or Tony? Tony. Tony, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Claudia, what do you think, Claudia Castro? Who's the best date? I don't understand. You don't understand. Listen, I will repeat the situation, right? Three boys wants to date Linda, right? Quieren una cita con Linda. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, they say the music, the movies, and the tipo, TV programs they, they like. Ellos dicen qué tipo de música, programas y películas les gusta. Y si a Linda le gusta el mismo tipo de programa, de, eh, tipo de película, tipo de música, probablemente el que más le pegue, ¿verdad? A lo que le gusta a Linda, con, con, con él va a salir Linda, ¿no? ¿Ok? So, in your opinion, ¿qué, ¿quién le pegó más a lo que le gusta a Linda? ¿Tony, uh, Bill o or, 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 or John? Eh, Tony. Tony. Oh. El uh, movie de thriller. Y, ah, yes, yes. y she's movies de terror, no sé. All right. <laughs> ok, en in, in, in game shows, too, right? Game show, right? Good, nice. So, uh, let me see. Only because of the, the similar name, right? Uh, Claudia Xiomara. Todavía está con nosotros Claudia Xiomara, veamos. Uh, no, no, no está ya. No sé qué pasó. Bueno. Eh, Caro, please. The last question. What is your opinion, Caro? Who's the best date? Tony. Tony, too. Okay. So, everybody, clap to Tony. <laughs> Tony, you're the best. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations Tony, right. <laughs> pobre Bill, pobre John, right? Fue muy aburrido. Sorry, ¿no? sorry. <laughs> okay, good. So we finish this, and uh, at this point, you have to complete uh, three sections, right? And the half of section four. A esta altura ya tenemos que haber terminado eh, la sección uno, dos y tres, y la mitad, digamos, de la sección cuatro, right? Section four. Uh, we finish this week, the section four. Esta semana terminamos la sección cuatro, right? Y para la otra semana tenemos la sección 5 y el examen final, right? Y ahí terminamos ya el curso. And we're going, we're planning to finish on November the 20th. El 20 de noviembre terminaríamos eh, con la plataforma. Las clases el 19 y el, el 20 es donde se cierra la plataforma, right? Este, quisiera saber si alguien va bien atrasado para ayudarle o... ¿Verdad? O ver qué forma podemos planificar trabajar el fin de semana, ¿verdad? O si todos vamos, vamos al ritmo, ¿verdad? Yo, teacher. Ok. Yo, eh, teacher. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Yo voy un poco atrasada, pero bueno, si bueno. tengo alguna duda, le, le escribo. Excelente. Vamos a ver. Eh, Claudia, right Claudia Castro. Y Juan Alfonso. Yes, teacher. Uh, Juan Alfonso, ¿por cuál va? No, 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 eh, no diga, yo sé que es cuestión de, 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 de trabajo, así que no tenga pena en, en decirnos, ¿verdad? ¿En qué sección en, va, Juan? 
en la etapa 1. En, en la sección 1. Ajá. La uno, tengo dos, dos okay. partes que no he, no he terminado porque ah, okay. ahorita estoy fuera del país. Oh, my goodness. Excelente. Qué chivo, ¿verdad? Me alegra, Juan. Este, y cree que me manda al, al, al grupo, bueno, a mí mejor, mándemelo, los puntos específicos, el uno punto tal, el un, ¿sí? Para que los trabajemos. Yes, teacher, yo yes, se los okay. envío. Ok, thank you very much, Juan Alfonso, thank you very much. En, en Claudia, lo mismo para Yo usted. voy, yo ah. voy en, en la parte 3. En la sección 3, ¿y hay algún ejercicio que le cueste? Sí, hay uno ahí que le voy a, eh, más que todo en, en el que hay que, parece que, que he dejado uno de la parte 2 donde hay que escuchar, y eso sí me cuesta, eh, el escuchar y, y sacar las respuestas de ahí, creo que ese es el que tengo más problema. Claudia, pero no es el 2.11, porque ese lo hicimos ahora también. Sí, cabales. Ah, sí, ese ahora, sí. Vaya, entonces hago una cosa. Usted mándame la, 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 los puntos que no entendió, pero este vea mañana este video en YouTube y el, el principio del video, ahí explicamos punto por punto ese ejercicio, es decir, el 2.11. 2.11. Y es ese, ya lo explicamos ahora, ¿verdad? Pero igual, usted mándeme sus dudas al grupo y si hay alguno que no, no entendió, me dice, ¿verdad? ¿Le parece? Thank you. Okay, okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, thank you, everybody. See you tomorrow. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.